Future doctors, big update from the government of India. The union cabinet has just approved a major expansion of medical education capacity across the country. Under phase three of the centrally sponsored scheme, the government will add 5,000 new postgraduate seats and 5,023 new MBBS undergraduate seats in government institutions. And this will all be implemented by the year 2028 to 2029. Now let's talk about the financials. The total cost of this scheme is a massive 15,034.50 crore rupees. Out of this, the central government will provide 10,303.20 crore rupees, while the state governments will contribute 4,731.30 crore rupees. This investment shows how serious India is about strengthening its healthcare system. So, what will be the benefits of this decision? First, it will increase the availability of doctors and specialists in every part of the country. Second, it will improve access to healthcare, especially in underserved rural and tribal regions where doctors are currently very few. Third, the move will allow the introduction of new specializations in government institutions which means more opportunities for students like you. Fourth, it will also generate employment, not just for doctors, but also for faculty, paramedical staff, researchers, administrators, and other support services. And finally, it will strengthen India's health system to meet global standards while ensuring equitable distribution of healthcare infrastructure across all states and union territories. Now let's look at the background. India's medical education sector has grown very rapidly in the last decade. Today, India has 808 medical colleges with the world's highest intake of more than 1.23 lakh MBBS seats. In just the last 10 years, 69,352 new MBBS seats were added. That's a growth of 127%. And 43,041 PG seats were added. A huge growth of 143%. Despite this growth, many regions still don't have enough doctors. That's why this new expansion is so important. Also remember that the government has set up 22 new AIMS institutes and many more hospitals under the Pradhan Mantri Swastya Suraksha Yojana, PMSSY. These are providing state-of-the-art facilities, building a new generation of skilled doctors and contributing to the vision of universal health coverage for all 1.4 billion Indians. So, in conclusion, by 2028 to 2029, India will have thousands of additional UG and PG seats, more specialists, more opportunities for medical students, and a much stronger healthcare system overall. This is not just an educational reform, but a healthcare revolution for our country. Stay connected with Gramedical for the latest NEET PG 2025 updates, branch guidance and counseling support because the right information can change your career.